You're listening to CBC Online at cbchs.org. CBC Online checking in with Arlen Harris, CBC Strength and Conditioning Coach. And Coach, you've been working with this football team all summer, and you know they're ready for the game, but they got to play the number one team in the land. How difficult is it when they go out to Fort Zumwalt, how difficult is that mind game to get over the fact that they're playing that top, that top team? Well, they're mixing up for the first time. That first week is always a tough week because now live bullets are flying and um, you got to make sure you execute. So there's going to be a lot of uh, pregame jitters. And when they go out there, I think after the first quarter, they'll start to get their feet underneath of them. They're prepared. They had a great summer. And I think when they get out there, um, they can execute. And this is a state semifinalist team. And I mean, a team that went very far in the playoffs. So that obviously they're going to be ready for CBC. And yeah, definitely. And I think our guys are ready for that challenge. We went, you know, we won 10 games last year, and I think these guys are out to prove something. They got a chip on their shoulder, you know, after getting, you know, beat in the first game. And you want to get that taste out of your mouth. Usually when a team gets out there and get that first win, you know, it's a confidence builder. And I think these guys are out there to prove, you know, that they're one of the teams that they need to deal with. Now, Coach Harris is going to be joining us during the prep cast this season. They're going to be taking some analysis of the games. What are some things you're going to look for in this first game? What are some things that you take us inside the game? What do you look for in week one? One of the initial things you're going to look at is who's winning that battle up front. You know, that's one of the indicators that, you know, it's a momentum builder, you know, for these guys, whether in offense or defense, who's going to dominate that front line. And once you kind of set the tone there, the rest are going to fall into it. You know, I'm looking for Dalton and Hare, two great quarterbacks, you know, top guys in the area, going to battle it out, make sure they, you know, have build their confidence by hitting some of the short passes. And then eventually I know Coach Pingo is going to call some deep balls and bring the excitement back into the game. And certainly Coach, is no, uh, he's no stranger to that uh, 30 yards and a cloud of dust on that those pass patterns. But certainly we have a, a new dimension with the running game this year. A lot been discussed with the running game. What do you think Coach is going to do? He's got a lot in his bag of tricks. You think he's going to keep us all on the edge of our seat this year? I think I think he is. I mean, we have a lot of weapons on offense, you know, with JP and with Antonio, two great um, running backs, two different styles. And I think the defense is going to have to account for a lot of different moving parts. And um, once those guys get on the edge, you know, they're going to definitely get people out, up on their feet. And I think they're going to, you know, take a lot of big runs, you know, the distance. And that's going to bring the defenses up. And then with Dalton, he's going to have to, you know, get that ball over top of those safety heads, which I know he can do. So I'm excited to see what these guys are doing. You know, again, they had a great summer, and those guys are motivated, and I think they're out there to prove a lot of people wrong. Certainly a team that could put up a lot of points, but again, as I saw last year, they, they actually gave up a lot of points, too. Some of the, uh, some of the other teams can try to tighten up. What do you expect from the defense this year with Coach Demovitz and that squad and Justin Lucas coming to the fold this year as a coach? Attitude. You know, I know we got a young defense, but, you know, once you put the helmets on, it doesn't matter how old you are. I think these guys are going to mix it up, come downhill, you know, um, again, momentum, and um, have some urgency getting to the ball. As long as we get all 11 hats to the ball, I think we'll have an opportunity. And um, I know they've been practicing that. And with, you know, LaCalle back deep, you know, you got big guys back there going to be afraid to come across the middle. So, again, there's going to be some big hits, and um, I think it's going to be an exciting game to watch. And finally, you played football, obviously, at a high level in high school. You played for University of Virginia obviously played for the Rams and the pros. What does it take? What is that extra edge that winning teams have? Is it the swagger? Is it the confidence? What is it What is it that makes the, the great teams great? And the, the people just have that extra edge that can get it done late in those tight games. Definitely. It's, it's going to come down to the fourth quarter. Who's going to be prepared to finish it? You know, when they're finishing runs, where they're finishing tackles, you know, there's going to be mistakes made. Definitely in the first game. That's why I like the uh, matchup between um, West and early because you don't want these guys to get ahead of steam and get their confidence built. So there's going to be mistakes, but it's going to be, you know, who's going to recoup. And I think our guys have the mentality and, and have the wit about them that, you know, you can go out there and just one snap and clear what happens last play, just leave it there and just continue to move forward and build on that. And I think we have a good team mentality mm -hmm. for that. Certainly CBC being ranked number four is certainly a great ranking, but how caught up do you get in the rankings preseason? Does it mean much? Just like anything else, you know, it doesn't really mean much, especially if you're not number one, you know, you got a bullseye on your back. But, you know, those four or five 
um, ranked teams. They're they're going for the number one spot, so it's not as much pressure. But again, no games has been played, and I think after this first week, you know, we'll get to see you know who's real, who's not, and as the weeks go on, people are gonna start getting weeded out. And finally, Coach Pingle, now in his fourth year here, you gotta be impressed with what this guy's been able to do here. Yeah, he's done a great job. You know, he has a lot of. Um, strong coaches to help assist him with this team and we got a lot of kids coming back and they brought him you know to his his program and I think you know once you start getting kids that come in here through this system you know we're going to be sticking around for a, a lot of years to come. Okay that's CBC's Arlen Harris we'll be checking in with you uh, throughout the year coach what's your prediction on the game? I mean, I think we're definitely going to, you know, come out there the first half and we're going to be excited. I think if we get them early, there's going to be a momentum builder and then we're just going to carry it out and, and, and finish it off in the, um, you know, the fourth quarter, hopefully by a touchdown or two. Good stuff. Again, Arlen Harris, we'll check in with you next time. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. CBC, men for tomorrow, brothers for life.